ugly puss and bad girl Jim. Two lioness. Two lioness. Two young lions, that's the lot. Two young lions, that's the lot. Had a good trip, Buana? Could have been worse. Here, mark a lion for what was the circus owner. What for the circus owner? He called here, Buana? In a couple of weeks, Buana. I gotta find some elephant for him sooner Buana. or later. Buana! Mzuri Leo? You don't go Mzuri, Buana. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's Ugly Puss doing, loose? Ugly Puss lonely, Buana. Lonely? New vets say Ugly Puss need company. Don't be silly. Sam, get a hold of that chain. I don't want to see him loose again. If you want him as a pet, keep him tied. This new vet, Buana. Yeah, I want to see him. Odongo, go and get him. Ugly puss, Buana. Go and get the vet. Okay? Okay, Buana. There you are. That's for you, Ugly puss. Don't be lonely, Ugly puss. You uh, like the new vet? Very good vet, Buana. Very highly commendable. Very sweet. Huh? Interesting. The sun been bothering you lately, Bawa? Injia! Injia Babafu! Injia! Injia Babafu! Takiri, you will find your knee. Quentin, close the gates! Walla, how many times do I have to tell you about handling the animals? What good are they to me if they're injured or marked up? Maybe you tell me again, Buana. I forgot. You forgot? Well, go and forget someplace else. You're fired. Bawa! I'm here, Buana. Give Udongo kiss, Aklipus. Good girl. Bauer, find out what's holding up the vet. And Hassan, pay Wall off. I don't want him around. Wall is very bad help, Buana. Also very bad man, Buana. That's why he's fired. Get him off the farm. Time you did something about these pens. They're falling apart. Well, where's the vet? Vet busy come later, Buana. Well, what do you know? Big interruption prevents explanation, Buana. Regrettable to say that new vet. For Pete's sake, what goes on? Adam, Colby, why aren't you working? Bauer, I hold you responsible. What is this? Doctor advised rest after stab with needle, Buana. Oh, did he? Well, get back to your jobs. Pacey, Pacey! The bark of Buana is worse than his bite. <laughs> this I read in English book. There you are. Next, please. Mr. Stratton? That's right. Funny, I, I'd imagined you with a beard. No, I have no beard. This is a little out of my line, but rather necessary. By the way, you been done lately? Done. Inoculated. Oh, uh, as a matter of fact... I know, was... you haven't given it a thought. Most people don't, unless they're reminded. Pull up your sleeve, will you please? Would you uh, mind explaining exactly... This yellow fever about 30 miles from Rumuruti. This won't hurt a bit. There. Lay off the scotch for a few hours and you'll be right as rain. Oh! I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself. I'm Dr. Muir, Dr. P.J. Muir, your new vet. Oh. I'm from Pittsburgh. Do you know Pittsburgh? No, I don't know Pittsburgh. Oh, well, I, I replaced Dr. Malcolm yesterday. I must say he was rather surprised to see a woman show up. He is not the only one. I was even more surprised to find my boys resting as if they were convalescents. I'm sorry. They must have taken me literally. I just told them to take it easy for a while. They do that normally. Now, let's get this straight, Dr. Muir. I asked Dr. Malcolm to engage a relief for himself before he left. When I said relief, I didn't mean a woman. I expected a man experienced in this type of work. I can assure you about the experience. It's all right here. We're living in the bush. I don't want the responsibility of a woman on the place. Dr. Malcolm should have realized that. 
Would you please read what's in the envelope? I'll read it, sure, but it won't make any difference. Don't blame Dr. Malcolm. After all, good vets don't grow on trees, you know. You're good, huh? Yes, very. And modest. He did say you probably wouldn't approve at first. They're very impressive. I'm just sorry you had to take such a long trip for nothing. Naturally, I'll pay your expenses, but I'll have to ask you to stay here until I can find someone to take your place. It may take a few days. Now, if you're through inoculating the boys, I'd appreciate it if you came out and looked at the animals I just brought in. Go, 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 Cop, 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 cop. Cop, cop. Cop, 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 cop. Where are you, Trigger? Goodbye, giraffe. Goodbye. Hi there, Jimmy. Hi, Soto. Come on. Here's your food. Where's your turn, boys? <laughs> Sorry? Sorry! <laughs> Monty, come on, Monty. Good boy. That's a good boy. How do you feel today, Miss Katie? Are you okay? I'm okay too. Come on, Thoma. Come on. Come on. Come on. You play with our clippers? You do. You're good, do you? You want to pull our clippers? No. Our clippers, no. I'm no time to play with you now. No, our clippers. No, no, our clippers. You play with Thoma. Thank you, Hassan. You hungry too? Don't fight. <laughs> You've come back, Missy? You not go away like that. You good girl, Missy. You stay here. Here's your food, Johnny. Don't grab, Johnny. Wake up, Nan. Here's your dinner, Missy. Hey, Peter. Why you growl like that? Oh, don't go. You and Hassan say bad things about me to Guana. When I see bad things. You glad I go? Watch your wanna, watch your wanna, watch your wanna, watch your wanna. Hola. I should have got rid of him months ago. If you see him around again, let me know. Adongo. Yes, Buana. You better wash up before dinner. 
But, Boomer... You heard me. You can't wait to tell me with those hands. Wash. My, <laughs> don't we look smart. Well, what's this? Elephant hair, Missy. Good for luck. I can use some of that. Thank you. One of the octopus has to stay on chain, Missy. Yes, I know he told me. I'm afraid he's made up his mind, Odongo, but I'll keep working on him. But he best one in all Kenya. Oh, I'm sure of it. But Aklipus no like it. Aklipus no good to stay on chain. She has no one to talk to her. Animals don't talk. Oh, but they have feelings. Yeah. Especially chimps. Mind you, I'm not exactly a fanatic on the Darwin theory. I do think they have certain human qualities. Or vice versa. Don't you think so? Don't you? Yes, of course. What I mean is they, they have a language all their own. And, well, if we could understand them, they'd probably have a lot more interesting things to say than we do. Don't you think? Water. <laughs> Why animals no talk, Juana? They have nothing to say. They make noise, Juana. Just talking, okay? It's time we sent you to school. Get some of that foolishness out of your head. School, Juana. School like chain, Juana. Aklipus no like stay on chain, Juana. That's where she's going to have to stay, so she might as well get used to it. Have you been out here very long? Uh, Fifteen years. Fifteen years? My, that is a long time. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had an aunt once. Oh, really? She lived in Kenya, too. Oh, she was from Pittsburgh. Oh, oh. She was a wonderful person. Yeah. Always ready with a smile. Beans, Mr. Stratton. Thanks. I uh, imagine you miss Dr. Malcolm. I do. When do you think the new man will arrive? As soon as possible. I won't keep you here any longer than I have to. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm enjoying every minute of it. What's the matter with you, Adongo? I'm OK, Werner. Everything ready, Werner. Miss you good friends, Buana. Yeah. Come on, Lulu. Does Anne tell you why I want you? Yes, Buana. Where you send Lulu? To a zoo in Tokyo. And that's where I'm sending Ugly Puss if I find her off a chain again. That's your final warning. Okay. Come on. That's a girl. Here we go. Here we go. Cage good and clean now, Missy. Oh, that's much better, Bowen. Tell him to keep it that way, will you? Yes, Missy. Take the jet for me. Gucci Katie. Kula Chikula. Chikula Katie. Hello, sweetheart. How is the leg this morning? Wanna look after Katie a long time. Soon she walk well. Sure. We'll have him running in the Kentucky Derby next year. <laughs> Bunga Bolongo. Shake a Kamba. Bye, Miss Lulu. Watu. Kusha Hopper. Bye, Miss Lulu. Uko. Wendy. Wendy. Crazy, crazy. 
Bongo Bongo. Well, how's Ugly Puss this morning, Adongo? Ugly Puss very lonely, Missy. This she tell me before breakfast. Maybe we can find her a husband. Okay, Mim Sal. Okay. Haraka, Haraka. Wendy. Face it, face it. Bye, Mr. Be a good girl, Miss Lulu. Goodbye. Bye, Miss Lulu. Miss Lulu, go on, Uncle Poos. Hello, you old scoundrel. What's new? Not a thing. You vet, old man. Take a good look. I don't kid myself you came here to see me. What about an introduction? Won't do any good. She's leaving. Leaving? Oh, come on, Stratton. I'm running an animal farm, not a beauty parlor. I'm trying to replace her. Do you know anybody? I'm not saying a word. I guess that's the lot, it's on. Thank you, Missy. These are all ready to go, Mr. Stratton. Have you signed the certificates? No, not yet. Dr. Muir, this is Mr. Keith, the game warden. Delighted. How do you do, Mr. Keith? Sorry to hear you're leaving us so soon. We'll have to talk her out of that one, Stratton. I'm afraid Mr. Stratton doesn't approve of women. What? That I didn't say. Better not say it in front of me. You know why Stratton doesn't keep wolves on the farm, don't you? No, I'm afraid not. Too much competition. Keith, uh, come on over to the office, will you? I want you to help me with the licenses. Elephant, I need them for Watford. Oh, the circus chap. You'll like Watford, won't you? I'll see you in a minute, Keith. See you later, Doctor. Keith's a pretty good guy, but he's got a warped sense of humor. Oh, I think he's charming. Yes? By the way, Mr. Stratton, we'll need some supplies from the village. Could I borrow your jeep this afternoon? Sure. Hassan, drive Missy up to the Duca this afternoon, will you? Yes, Juan. We need quite a few things for the trip. Trip? I understand you're going out again. I'm going out, sure. Well, obviously, you'll need your vet with you. Oh, I will? And one other thing, Mr. Stratton. Some of these cages are pretty bad. Could be because you've always employed men. They're not as particular as women. Really? Really. Anyway, I've left strict orders about them. You're giving orders? Purely in the interest of hygiene. Hygiene? And as long as I'm here, I shall continue to give orders. I'll sign your certificate. Thank you. These are all right, old boy. Send me a copy and I'll return it with my blessing. I'm okay to operate at Cooey, huh? Sure. That's where I'll head for then. What about that guy you were chasing up, Bauer? Guy Buona? Vet. Oh, very good vet Buona. When does he get here? No can come. Why not? Vet died last Tuesday. What a figure. Why, she's gorgeous, and you're going to give her the sack. I don't know what you're worried about, old boy. Take your mind off it. Bauer, get my things ready. We're leaving tonight. We, Buona? We. Go tell Missy Doctor she can come with me. Tell the dongo I'll take him too. Chaperone, eh? You cunning old scoundrel. Strictly business, old boy. If I know women, this one will be packing your grip in one day. And Baba, you better get somebody or you'll find yourself doing the job. Long enough for the boys to catch up? Would I have time to, uh... Take a photograph? Sure. <laughs> yes, thank you. Oh! Groundhoppers, locusts, they won't eat you. You guarantee it? Sure, they're strictly vegetarians. Wanna like Mr. Doctor? Sure, I like everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh, it certainly was not okay. Bye. Get in. I'm 
want to tell you, Mrs. Don't Stark. be on the way. You have some nurse on you. Oh! Depends how we get on at Wadji. Oh. I'm hoping to get some a copy. What's no copy? That's a rare specimen of the deer family. I've been looking for one for months. We'll probably camp sometime tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? With luck. Oh, you're slacking off, aren't you? My mother always used to say, never put too much of a strain on yourself. A wonderful woman, Mother. Always ready with advice. Yeah. Yeah. Pick out the leader. Okay? Okay. Think of the rules. Feel wind, feel balance. Feel nothing. Feel nothing. Now take off the safety. Take off the safety. Don't look at me. Take it off. Take aim. Squeeze it off. Gently. You stupid idiot! What did you do that for? Sorry, Buana. Sorry, my foot. That was a deliberate miss. Udonga, sorry, Buana. I've got a good mind to send you home. What's eating you? What are you scared of? Maybe the boy just doesn't like shooting animals. We came out here to get meat for the camp. You're not such a bad shot yourself. Why don't you try it? Okay, so the kid makes a living by a gun. But he still happens to love animals. Can you change that? I'm going to change it. All right, go ahead and change it. But stop torturing him now. Torturing? Can't you see the kid's eating his heart out? Even the boys won't talk to him. What do you expect me to do? Go and talk to him yourself. Tell him everything's going to be all right. Be human for once. Memsav. Memsav. Mamsav, Ndungu Yangu, Bwana. Karigani. Ndungu Yangu, Karibu Kufa, Atasa Mutoto. Watcha, watcha. Sina sa Yakus idea. What did he say? His sister's having a baby, but there seem to be complications. Nothing we can do. Adongo, check the gas. We're leaving. Maybe I can help. You're supposed to be the vet, not a midwife. Quayle. Sorry. Quayle, Sina sa Yakus idea. Get the meat in the lorry. Pacey, pacey. Just a minute. Mr. Stratton. Well? That boy Look, thinks... Dr. Muir, I brought you along so you could help out and because you wanted to come. If you're finding the going rough, I can send you home. Have I beefed about anything? You've beefed about a dango. You've got a beef on now. I can see it coming. Oh, you bet I have. For the sake of an hour or two, you might save a woman's I life. I don't have an hour or two. I'm a businessman, don't you understand? In a few days, the Watfords are arriving. He's an important client. What do you think he's going to say? If, if you leave now, you'll remember that boy's face for the rest of your life. What makes you think so? Because I don't think you're all that tough. But you go ahead, Mr. Stratton. I'm going with the boy. Stay there a minute. Hassan. Looks like trouble, Odonga. Turkana angry, Missy. Shari Gani, huh? Bibi Yamu Mukunda Sana. Mambia Wadu Yaku Usifikir. What's all the excitement about? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. This guy is Lenny, the woman's husband. They're giving us a friendly warning. 
warning. In case anything happens to the baby. Oh, charming. I hope you've taken your degree in gynecology, Miss Nightingale. I'll tell you later. Simama Yuma. Uh. Asanta, Buona. Asanta. Thank the men, sir. You're going to be all right, honey. A pun of a kitty. I'd like to buy a couple. Whose are they? A oh, copy belonged to my father, Buona. Well, tell him I'll give him uh, 10 pounds each for him. And I'd, I'd like those two and uh, a couple of others if we can make a deal. No, Buona. Why not? A oh, copy not to sell, Buona. Jojo, my mommy. It's a boy. It's a boy, Buona. Well, look, I'll give you 15. Buona, look, baby. Wait a minute. Baby. It's a boy! It's a boy, Buana! It's a boy, Buana! It's a boy, Buana! That's great. Nice, aren't they, Odongo? Beautiful, Buana. Odongo like one. So would Buana. First they threatened to kill us, and then guess what? I have no idea. Then he wanted to give me a present. I didn't like to take it, but I just couldn't hurt his feelings. No. After all, what would I do with an Okapi? Have an Okapi on me, Mr. Stern. Hassan, I want three of the babies. And Adongo, you can stay with the boys and help bring them back to the farm. Asante, Juan, Asante. Missouri, Missouri!
Why, Dr. Mueller, this is so sudden. So were the elephants. someplace my mother always advised me to do this no matter what the circumstances try some it's very refreshing oh no thanks missy please oh, don't go try some okay but don't eat it just put it on your face what's the next item on the program buana we'll be leaving early in the morning i want to collect some beaters at the next village what are we looking for now dinosaurs Really, dinosaurs have been extinct for two million years. You should know that. Oh, thank heavens I didn't know you then. Hey, I said that's not to be taken internally. I've uh, decided to send him to school. Just like that? Why not? I hardly think a boy who worries about captive animals is a good candidate for school. Thanks. A dongo worries, does he? You don't know him very well, do you? Do you? Yes, I think so. He's just a normal boy who's had more freedom than most. And he prizes that more than anything. It gives him a, well, a kind of affinity with animals. That's why he doesn't like shooting them or seeing them locked up. Take that chimp, for instance. Now, you don't believe an animal could be homesick. You don't even believe they have feelings. They're here for you to trap for business or shoot to eat. But a dongo feels differently. Every time he sees something in a cage, his instinct is to go and let it out. Wow. I have spoken. Yeah. That was quite a speech. And you don't believe a word of it. Yeah. Doc! Doc! 
on, Doc. Rise and shine. Pam? Pam! Your name is Bambi. Roaming around all alone. Hmm? All right, bright eyes. Run along to mommy. Go on. Scamper on. You've never had your picture taken before. All right, smile now. Come on. That's it. Now turn around. Turn around. Let's see that big, ugly face. Here you are, honey. Latest creation from Paris. Hmm, looks better on you than it does on me. That's it. Hold it now. Hold it. Because I'm alive. Got a home, got a place. There's a smile on everyone's face. I'm in love with the whole human race. Because I'm alive. Every tree holds a nest of birds in it. Nature has many words for it. We hold the key to wonderful things. 
That's why I'm so alive and in love. Cause the sun is shining above. And I'm going home like a bee. Back to the hive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Jumbo, Bibi. Ben. Lester! Lester, oh, George, I can't find Lester anywhere. Well, don't worry about him. He can't come to no harm. No. Ah, oh, that looks like Stratton now. Good to see you, Watford. How are you? Fine. <laughs> you haven't met the little woman, have you, Stratton? How do you do? Nice to see you, sir. Oh, uh, this is Dr. Muir, my new, uh, uh, vet. Oh, yes. Yeah. How do you do? How do you How do? do, you, do? Uh, you know, I'm most happy to meet you. I had the most horrible feeling that I was the only white woman for miles and miles. Oh, no. No. Do you mind if we uh, go in and clean up? Oh, no, 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 do. Let's, let's. Oh, you just look round to my Lester. He's sometimes such a little monkey, you know. Help! <laughs> You got some nice stuff here, Stratton. I'm building it up gradually. How long have you had the cats? Nearly a year, most of them. These are tagged for Zanzibar. Uh huh. I've got a man eating lion if you're interested. No, thanks. Hello. <laughs> this is more in my line. Oh, that's Ugly Puss. She's not on the market. Pity. She belongs to a dongo, one of my boys. You can try him, but I don't think he'll sell. Mm. I've got some elephants arriving in a day or so. Have you? Oh, and the akapi. Wait till you see the akapi. I think it's all absolutely heavenly, and I adore it. Oh, look at that dear little baby. So ah! Oh, let go, you horrible thing. Come along, the lions are tamer. Daddy? Well, that was quite a tour. You can take the rest of it sitting down. Hop oh, in. I think they're absolutely sweet when they're young, but they do change, don't they? George, what are you off to? Would you ladies like a ride before tea? Thank you. Yeah. Run, you stay. Oh, how nice, George. Will you go and get my scarf? I've got it in my pocket, dear. Where yeah. that boy can be? Lester! George, really, all scrumped up in your pocket. You wouldn't be ashamed of So how many times do I have to say, oh, there you are. Come on, get in quick. Keep going for a ride. Good-o. Mum, do you know where I've been? Oh, dear, but you smell most peculiar. Oh, it's a nice car, No, they're just crazy. But it's your land, isn't it? Well, I charge them a small rent. Oh, I see. What a good idea. Do you think you could get me some of these, Stratton? Sure. How many do you want? Uh, one would be enough, George. I'll make it a round dozen. Don't let's be mean. <laughs> Lester, what are you doing? Lester, stop it once. Oh, <laughs> oh the 
Well, they're all sweet, aren't they? Good heavens, you like to have such a bath at us. Oh, George, George, do look at that big one. Oh, the cat. Oh, look, he's taken this one biscuit. Oh, no, no, that's most unfair. Oh, George, look, look, isn't that sweet? Isn't that absolutely priceless? Oh, I say, I am so sorry. Oh, George, George, he's got my handkerchief. George, George, he's got me. Ah, Lickle, Lickle, Lickle. Let go. Oh, George, come to me, George. George, he's running the car. Will you take it away, please? Come on, come on, get out of it. Come on. Don't push it at me, you fool. Just take it away. Is this the one you want, Mrs. Watford? No, no, thank you. No, no, no. Will you take it away, please? Come on, come on. Come on. Where are you going now? Mr. Lachlan, do you think we could get some of them? Look at that. Look at that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Now, little bit. Come on, come on. Come on. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. I won't be long, his son. Yes, Miss Yes, I think everything, Missy. <laughs> I think everything is down there. Yeah. Too narrow be some of these things I may have to think. <laughs> That's all right. Yes, <laughs> now I will see. <laughs> Remember Waller, Missy? Yes. Warner Fire Waller, you know that. I heard something about it. How are you doing? Waller needs job. You tell the one I go back, eh? Something I cannot yet find. You tell the one what I say, eh? Here's the iodine and the first aid kit. That's very important. That's all, eh? Lynn. Thank you. You go back and tell Buona what I say, eh? <laughs> So tough, Missy. Ready to go now. Will you charge these to Buana? <laughs> yes, Missy. You better charge that to him, too. <laughs> yes, Missy. Good afternoon, Mohammed. Hi! Missouri! <laughs> Are you a dongo? Yes, me a dongo. I'm Lester. <laughs> We came to meet you. We've been walking for miles. <laughs> <laughs> there, Star. Lester, dear, mother's calling. Now, bend a hopper, Bibi. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Lester! Wana, Wana! Must be about Buana. somewhere. Oh, there. Well, that's boy wearing. That's a dongle's shirt. What? It's a sign of friendship, Mrs. Watford. Very? How extraordinary. Excuse me. Lester! Lester, take it off, dear. Oh, Oh. These are the babies I was telling you about. Well, they might do a deal with them. <laughs> None of your fancy prices, though. No. We'll work it out. George, yes, will you come talk to the boy? Look what he's got on. They say it's friendship, but I don't like it very much. I always father. Why do you You've been it? warned, Buona. I'll take the chance, Ben Saab. You see, Dr. Theo, give for sicker, do she got chill. Looks a bit Trouble with you, George, is you're not firm enough with the boy. Oh, live and let live. Oh, well, look at that shirt. You don't wear it, it's been. Neither do I, but I have a pretty shrewd suspicion. Oh, do oh, so. Oh. You'd better take her to my hut, Yes, miss. I think she'll be all right, Adongo. She just needs to be kept warm. Of course, if she pegs out, you can have her stuffed. What do you mean? Uh, let's change the subject. Run along, Adongo. Tact is not one of your virtues, is it, Lester? Thank you. Oh, no, no, I'm not saying a word against Africa. Oh, I, I adore it. It's, I'm merely remarking that I don't like... 
I don't like everything that goes with it. Goes with it? That reminds me of a story about George. the actors. Oh, I don't go. Uh, <clears throat> Why Miss Stratton tells me that you own the chimp. Um, what's his name? Ugly Puss. Ugly Puss, that's right. He's a nice chimp, don't go. Ugly Puss, very nice chimp, one. Ugly Puss, friend. That's so. Well, I'll make you an offer. I'll give you 50 pounds for it. Ugly Puss, friend. No sell my friend, one. That's a pretty good offer, Dongo. You better take it. No, no sell ugly puss. But Dongo, sorry, Buana. That's all right, lad. Idiot. Oh, I can understand how the lad feels. I had a white rat when I was his age. I wouldn't have taken Buckingham Palace for it. Oh, Dongo. What you doing here? Don't let on. Mum thinks I'm in bed. Oh, she told me to return this. Mind if I sleep here? Make a nice change. I'll go see ugly puss. Oh, they'll let you know if he's any worse. You know, I do envy you. I have a terribly dull life myself. You go to school? Yes, it's a bore. School very bad? Bad? It's torture. Torture? The neck torture? Sure, if you don't know your lessons. What kind of torture? Well, kind of, um... Uh, anyway, it's a ghastly life, and I'd change places with you any day. Just put me among the animals and I'm happy. Especially the lions and leopards and things. I think they're swell. You're not afraid of lion? Me, no. I think that... I say, call him off, will you? Missy, missy friend. She's a good girl. She sleep here, too. Oh, really? Yes, well, uh, if you don't mind, I... Uh... Cheerio, I hear Mum calling. Madango. Ugly puss. She very ill. I think she died. They're much bigger in Africa than they are in England. I suppose they're bigger still in America. Depends on what they're fed. Oh, really? Oh, excuse me. Uh, do you mind? Oh! George, have you got my smelling salt? Oh, I'm not feeling at all well. Excuse me. There you are, Do you hope I haven't got berry berry or something beastly? Well, don't just sit there. Put it somewhere. Huh? Some of the animals need water, Dongo. Go around all the cages. Did you hear me? The clip was lonely, so she died. The chimp died because he was sick. Now get out and water the animals, okay? No, not okay. Make a clip was change, change. You kill a clip was. Get out and do as you're told. I'll get him another chimp. He'll get over it. All right, so I was tough on the kid, but I know it's good for him. Wouldn't it have been just as easy to explain why the chimp died, that it had pneumonia? You don't explain to a dongo, you just tell him. A dongo's quite intelligent, you know. You could get through if you wanted to. I'm getting a little tired of this psychoanalyzing of a dongo. You don't have to psychoanalyze loneliness. That's all he suffers from. He's lost his friend. Don't you understand that? He'll get over it. As for the chimp, you're the vet. You explain. I was. What? When I first came here, you said it wouldn't work out. What is this? I'll see you just as soon as your new man arrives. What's going on? Don't tell me you're walking out because of what I said to the kid. 
just isn't that important. Oh, but it is that important. It's important because he's a good kid. More important because... because of what it's shown in you. Can't you see that? Shown in me? What have I done that makes things so different? Oh, you just don't understand, do you? I understand the things I see. I understand when two people fall in love, when there's nothing between us but the sky, and you kissed me and the earth didn't move. Remember that? It stood still like it was waiting for us. Don't tell me we didn't become part of each other when that happened. for Nairobi to join the White Hunters' surprise. Certainly settled for the lion cubs. Now there's the two baby elephants. That's what I came for. Mainly fair and dry. Nyanza, generally fair, apart from...
Is Hassan Missy? He's not so good, Adongo. Missy? Yes? Many animals gone. Adongo, sorry for one. I'm sure you are. Shall we see if we can find him? Adongo, come here. These are yours, aren't they? Yes, one. They were picked up near the animal pens. What were they doing there? I don't know, one. Sure if you, you don't, don't mind, you'll just stay out of this. You used these to scare the animals so they'd break out and go free, didn't you? No, Buana. You don't like animals caged, do you? Answer me! No, Buana, no! Go back to your hut. And stay there. I'll talk to you in the morning. I'd never have believed it of the boy, but if you say so, what? I've no choice. Yes, Papa. Oh, don't go gone, Buana. Gone? Yes, Buana. Miss Missy gone too. Okay. So my cats, my baby elephants, half my stock. Stratton, are you sure about the kid? Of course I'm sure. You heard what Bowers said. He's taken off. He's scared of being punished, obviously. Right, because of what he's done. Water? Oh, we're uh, just off. So you had your trip for nothing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. I'm sorry for you. That's okay. It'll take time, but I'll get him back. Oh, beastly flies. Well, goodbye, Mr. Stratton. Thank you so much for everything. It's been most exciting. And uh, do let us know about Hassan. Poor dear. I've been up all night worrying about him. Lester. Oh, there you are. George, you must hurry now, dear. We're going to miss the plane. I couldn't find Odonga, sir. Would you say goodbye to him for me? I'll do that. Oh, George, what do you think I Oh, and I borrowed his knife. Would you return it to him, please? <laughs> Oh, don't make such a fuss. Goodbye, sir. Bye. Here? Yes. He scared the animals? Yes. Stop. 
time to pull the ball in. What is it? What's happened? The kid's out in the bush. He got scared and ran. If he runs into Walla... You don't have to tell me. Wait a minute. Look, Steve. If the boy sees you out there alone, he'll think you're hunting him down. I'll have to chance that. He knows I'm his friend. Let me go with you. All right, get in. We'll make for Eagle. He's got some people there. Friend, Missy, who don't go got you. Missy, Missy, tired. Who don't go tired. Don't go find food, Missy. You no go well. You stay here. bring food, Missy. Sign. You're not giving up. No. I guess if I'd listened to you, this never would have happened. If I'd been in your place, I'd have thought the same as you did. Who are you kidding? You, Dongo? Yes, me, Dongo. We friend. You go back farm, Dongo. We look for Walla. You mean the Dongo, okay? Walla, bad man. You find way? Oh, Dongo find way. But the Dongo hungry. Ah. Uh -huh. You take this and go. Oh, Dongo thank chief. Ah. Uh -huh. Missouri! Missouri!
That looks like Missy Missy. Yes, it is the cheetah. Trailing her leash. The kid could be anywhere. Missy could put 30 miles between them in a couple of hours. Stratton here. Stratton here. Is that you, Keith? Over. I have good news, Stratton. I have good news. The Samburu have found Odongo. He is making his own way to the farm. How are you reading me? Over. Read you five by five. Received message. Have you seen Wally yet? Have you found Wallace? Over. Not yet, Stratton. Have found tracks. We are concentrating search in river area. In river area. Over. Roger. Over and out. Wonder why the kid let the cheetah go. Could it be he ran into Walla? Could be. It's just a hunch, but the river lies due northeast. That's the direction Missy was heading. Let's go. shirt about half a mile away. I'll work downstream. I'll meet you back here in an hour. Okay. Nuzu wa tu kuju na mimi. Ingini kwanda na buwana. Kuju panda hi. Kwanda.
like a knife down there. Could be a wallet. Stay here. Keep your eyes open. News. What is it, Bauer? After long search through entire continent of Africa, New Vet has arrived. New Vet? Oh, well, uh, you better tell him. Uh... Oh, oh, he's chasing me. Oh, 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 oh. Call, call, call him, call him off, somebody. Oh, 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 oh. Don't bother. 
Who's Missy, Missy Chasing? Mem Saib, it's a guy trying to sell me insurance. But now, one! Do we need insurance? One. I hope not. I found them, Udonga found them, Buana! Missouri, Missouri! <laughs> I found them, Buana! Udonga found them, Buana! <laughs> Odongo, Odongo, all the animals love Odongo, he loves.